Hi, I'm Greg Wood, and this is Making It in the Music Scene, Part 4. What is a music producer? A music producer is kind of like the director of a movie. So you have the script and you have the actors. This is just like the songs and the band. And the director has to make the whole project come together. The same thing is true of a music producer working with the band and the studio engineer and the songs, bringing everything together to make the best possible final product. And typically a really good producer is going to have uh, their sound attached to that album. Similar if you watch a Quentin Tarantino movie, you know it's a Quentin Tarantino movie because he has such a unique style. Well, a good music producer is going to have his style that he's going to imprint on that album. Um, if you are a band under a record label, then the record label is going to assign a producer to produce your album. But if you're an independent artist, you can also hire a music producer to produce your next album. Uh, the music producer is going to oversee the whole project, everything from helping with songwriting. They might even uh, co-write a song or two with you or with the band. Uh, they're going to do help you with pre-production and what pre-production is is when you are working out the songs before you go to the studio so you're in your rehearsal space and you're working on different uh, transitions from the bridge to the chorus and what's going to sound best and what guitar you're going to use and uh, that's all that takes place in pre-production that might be in your jam space in your basement or that might be actually in the studio before you hit the record button um, they're also going to take care of uh, booking the time with the different studios, uh, negotiating the rates, deciding what the best studio will be for the project, as well as if it's going to be mixed and mastered at the same studio, or if it's going to be recorded at one studio and mixed somewhere else, and maybe even mastered at a third studio. Uh, the other thing a music producer does is in the studio during the tracking stage of recording they're going to help to bring out the best uh, performances from the artist so do a bit of uh, coaching whether it's on vocal coaching or you know telling the bassist and the drummer how to play a certain part together that's going to have the best effect for the song uh, they're also going to help with deciding which takes they're going to use so maybe you takes there's six different takes for a chorus of a song and they're going to help decide which sounds best and which one to use for the song. The other thing a music producer is going to do is they're going to have a watchful eye on all the details. So making sure that you tune your guitar between every take, that the drums are tuned properly for the key of the song. Uh, the other thing they can do is they can bring their own unique flavor with uh, different tricks that they have. Uh, such as overdubs and different things that they might add to put their flavor into the song. Uh, this is just like the Saturday Night Live skit with uh, Christopher Walken where he's asking for more cowbell in the song. That's where that comes from, is from those old 70s rock producers that had crazy harebrained ideas that took a song from just a great song to a hit song. Uh, another thing music producers will be involved with is... Uh, not all the time, but sometimes they will be involved with the mixing and mastering uh, phase of the recording. So helping the mix engineer make some decisions. But lots of times, with especially with major label artists, the mixing and mastering engineers are so good that typically they send the stuff off to them and they say, do your magic, and they won't be involved in that portion of it. Uh, what they might do, though, is they might send back two or three different mixes of a song and then the producer will help pick which they think is the best mix to send to radio or to put on the album. Uh, the music producer, they're putting their name on the final product so they want to make sure that it's the best that it can be. Uh, they're going to take care of every detail along the way uh, to make sure that when their name is on it at the end that they're proud of that product. Another thing they can do is they can help you if you're an independent artist with sending it to the correct record labels or to the correct people in the music industry. And depending on what genre and what the album ends up sounding like, they can say, you know, I know someone that might be really interested 
and hearing your guys' stuff because music producers are obviously involved with lots of music industry people and lots of different bands and record labels. Uh, if you are a band that's under a record label on a contract, they will typically provide you with uh, a music producer that will be assigned to you to oversee the project. But if you're an independent artist, you can also hire a music producer to help you with putting together your next album. Uh, it's really worth the extra money because you're going to get a better final product that's going to take you farther in the long run. If you don't hire a music producer, the other option is to produce it yourself with the aid of a really good uh, studio engineer. If you have a good studio engineer who has experience with a lot of different genres of music, can play many different instruments, and is sort of a jack of all trades, typically he he can put on his producer's hat in the studio and help with a lot of these uh, things and really help the album be a better final product in the end. Uh, typically music producers are going to charge rates either per song, per album, or per project. Uh, typically if you're an independent artist, the best uh, bang for your buck is going to be to hire them for the whole uh, project. Uh, they'll have a flat rate and it won't matter how long the project takes, it won't be time based, it will just be one flat rate from start to finish, everything from songwriting, pre-production, in the studio, uh, doing, taking care of booking the studios, negotiating the rates, mixing, mastering, and all everything in between. Uh, the other thing is, uh, if you want to save some money, there are producers that you can go to their studio, they'll have a home studio or a studio near where they live that they typically do a lot of work at, and that'll save you some money because you're not paying for their producer's expenses. So to fly them to you or to have them in a hotel or traveling back and forth to different studios. So how do you find, how do you choose a producer? Well, the best way is going to be find an album that you really like the sound of, you say. This band sounds similar to us, and their latest album is actually a really big step up from their last one. I wonder who they got to produce it. And you can go online or look in the album credits, find out who the producer was, and then typically you can do a Google search on them and find their contact info. And most of them are, even the high-end producers, are pretty easy to get a hold of. So that's what a music producer is. Uh, thank you to Dylan for sending in the question for this week, what is a music producer? And if you have any more questions, anybody, feel free to send them in and I will do my best to answer them. That's it for this week. Uh, check out my website, gotgregwood.com.